Good morning everybody, Silas back again today. I got a busy one ahead of me today. Yesterday was crazy busy too, but today's gonna be another busy one. I got the truck and trailer going again. Had to do a little bit of work on it. For those that watched my last vlog, you know what I'm talking about, but it's all working. Well, mostly working. I ordered the part for it that I need. The little, uh, it's a little plastic deal. It's called a check valve that's on the brake booster. It completely just broke off on my truck. And there's no vacuum now to the brake booster, so there's no brakes. And it's a really odd sized part. It uses a different size uh, fitting that pops in than what 99% of vehicles use. And it's an obsolete part. Nobody carries it. And it's just an absolute nightmare. I'm like, what do I do now? Nobody carries this part. I found one on the internet. And it was a used one that's brittle. And it's $100 on eBay. And I'm like, uh -uh, I ain't paying 100 bucks for a used one that's about to fall apart. And I didn't know what to do. I did some checking. Crazy. I, I don't understand this at all. But 1964 Mustangs call for the exact same deal. The exact same check valve. So I ordered one for a 1964 Mustang. It'll be here Wednesday. But anyway, the agenda for today is, is I've got to haul a bunch of cars into the claw there at the shredder. Now, there's not actually a shredder at the location. I have people all the time saying, film the shredder, film the shredder. You know, I'll be honest with you. I have never seen the shredder in my entire life. I have never seen a car get shredded other than watching videos online. But the type of shredder that they have at their other location, I've never seen one of those shredders in operation. So maybe someday they'll let me in to see it. They usually don't like people to film those. So this location here, all it is is they just have an unloading station where they unload stuff off of trailers like mine and they pack it in their big semis and haul it to their shredder at a separate location. So anyway, that's what I got to do today is get these cars moved. We've been shipping them out to Tennessee, but unfortunately we're not getting enough trucks and I'm getting way too much material in. My road out there is just about full and the yards are both full. I don't even have room to turn around back here anymore. It's just so full in here. So I've got to ship some cars out and so I'm just going to go ahead and sell them local not what I really wanted to do but for now it's what I got to do so it is what it is first up on the list we got this big old beast I'm just gonna haul that down there by itself just because it's big and awkward I could probably put a small car on the back of it if I wanted to but I haven't been down there in a little while so I'm not sure if they're still doing things the same so until I know for sure what's going on down there I'm just gonna play it safe I'll just take this by itself I'll chain it down real quick and hit the road Okay, so as usual, my plans got canceled for me again. Instead of hauling cars in to the shredder, I've got to come out here and help my dad load. We have a, a flatbed truck here to haul cars out to Tennessee. The load's not wrapped or anything yet, and so he was wanting help with that. So I want to do that, and then after that, it'll probably be middle of the day, so I may not get a whole lot hauled today down to the claw, but we'll see what else we can do. This shouldn't take too long. We just got to set everything out, get them wrapped, get them loaded, probably go get something to eat, and then I'll go back over there so I can probably haul a few things in this afternoon. But I probably won't get as much done as I was hoping. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'll get anything done then or not. But I guess we'll see how it goes.
All right, we got that truck loaded and headed out. Now I'm back over here at the yard. I'm gonna to try to haul a few loads in yet this afternoon. I just went ahead and told everybody I was closed today and tomorrow, just in case it does rain tomorrow, which they're saying 70% chance. So it actually already is starting to feel like there's a storm coming in. So probably gonna rain, but if it does rain, I'm gonna go ahead and keep hauling cars. I've got most of these cars already crushed and ready to grow, go. So I'll just throw on a rain jacket and just drive back and forth. I won't get that wet. The only issue is, is I'm probably not going to have time to go over there and get my railroad ties. So I'm just going to have to figure other things out. Like for this load here, I put that refrigerator on there. And that way it keeps it up off the trailer a little bit so it doesn't hurt the wood. I still got a stove laying over there. Got that stack of tires over there. So whatever I can find to throw underneath the bundles, that's what I'll do. And for this one, I threw those two car seats on here. Those will work good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a full bundle of cars from down there and sit on here, I think. Smash those seats right flat. Kind of a bad deal. A guy came out and wanted to buy those seats out of a car. And he said he was going to go get his tools and pull them out. And he did while I was at lunch. And when I came back from lunch, the seats were sitting here and he wasn't here. So I waited. That was about two months ago. A month and a half ago. And they've still been laying right over there this entire time. So I guess he wasn't coming back for them. So they're gone now. There we go. Kind of an ugly load, but going as short as distance as I'm going, don't really care what they look like. One thing I don't like though is this time change. My brain keeps saying, hey, it's almost quitting time. And then I look at my clock and it's 1.30. I'm like, oh, it's not quitting time. Of course, I ate an early lunch. I had an early start to the day, so everything's back. But then with the position of the sun it is right now, and this time of year it's dark at 5.30. So at 1.30 in the afternoon, it feels like it was at five o'clock a couple months ago. And so that's what my brain keeps telling me.
Here's the next load. I didn't even bother crushing that one. It was just sitting right here, so I just threw it up there so I can get it out of here. I'm trying to hustle and get as much done as possible. Making a little bit of progress, slowly but surely. Good morning, we're back again today. I'm gonna to keep hauling junk cars in. So far, we've dodged all the rain. Uh, I'm not sure when it's coming or if it's coming still, but it feels like rain, but it's not raining, so I'll take it. I ran out here real quick. I'm gonna grab some railroad ties and throw them on my trailer so that I don't tear chunks out of my trailer anymore like this. Just one time I put a car on here with no tires, no nothing underneath it. Thought, oh, it'll be okay. Well, it wasn't okay. It took a big old chunk out. Because when they drop that big old heavy claw on here, and those cars don't always pick up straight. Sometimes they slide sideways, and it's just hard on this wood. So I'm going to grab these railroad ties, slide them on here, run my cable over the top of them, winch it down so they stay in place, and head to the yard and start loading and hauling. So I made it over here to the yard and I can get the equipment out. I open the door on the loader, got the gates open. All of a sudden I hear this really, really weird noise. I'm like, what is that noise? But yesterday, I believe it was opening season for something. So there was a bunch of people shooting shotguns out back by the river. And so I knew that noise yesterday was loud, but today it was a weird noise. I'm like, that is a weird sound of gun. I can't figure out what that is. Oh, silly me. There's a horse and buggy going by. And I just didn't see the horse and buggy. And I don't know if they got something on the horse's shoes or for different shoes or what, but it was making some sort of weird clip clop. It wasn't a normal clip clop. I just found that kind of amusing, thought I'd share it with you guys. But today's game plan, I want to get rid of everything else today that's ready to go. I've got two full bundles of cars crushed down there that are already crushed. And then I've got this car here is ready to go. That stack of three is ready to go. I believe the silver car, I just got to pull the aluminum wheels out of the trunk and I probably have to take it in and drain the gas still. And then the red blazer is ready to go. And then over here, I believe the purple car is ready. This in here, I gotta pull the wheels on it and then it's ready. 
the PT Cruiser got to pull the wheels and it's ready. Uh, this one here is obviously ready. The Crown Vic and those over there all still have converters and wheels and everything on them. So none of those are ready. So I'll wait on those. Then I've got this stack over here. These are mostly ready in this pile. The Jeep is technically ready, but that's a year newer than the one that I drive. So I'm probably going to hang on to it just for spare parts. Body-wise, it's pretty well trashed. But there might be some mechanical parts or other parts that I might need off of it. You just never know, and they're getting older and harder to find, so. And actually, these axles out of these things are starting to get somewhat popular. These axles here, if you're just doing light-duty off-roading, will fit right under one of those blazers like that. And then you have solid axles. Boy, it is getting misty out and foggy, so I think the rain's starting to roll in. Luckily, it's not that cold, actually, though. But anyway, I got this loaded up. This isn't a very heavy load here. I'm going to throw a chain over it. One thing I really, really need to do is I need to get me some more D-rings. And I want to put one right in the middle of each fender. And that way I have something to hook onto without having to go all the way up underneath here. I've got this bracket here, which works okay, unless I'm using straps. And then if I use straps, I have to hook on here. And the problem with that is, is if the load shifts, the strap comes unhooked like that. Whereas with the D-rings, if the strap's hooked in here like this, and it shifts, the D-ring moves, and it doesn't come unhooked. So I need to do that. I want to put one in the center of each fender, and then I want to put one right in front of the fenders and right behind the fenders on each side. That way I can throw straps over it all the way down rather than just the front and the back, which these work okay if you're running chains, which that's actually what these are for is to run chains through up to the load and back over to there. And that's okay if you're hauling one car at a time, but when you're hauling loads like I haul with farm equipment and cars and everything else stacked up, I really need something different.
this one just came in. I didn't even bother crushing it. So make sure the fluids are drained and off she goes. And that is it for the day. It's starting to get a little bit late. So I'm not going to haul any more today. I am exhausted, worn out. That whole jumping in and out of the truck and in and out of the loader and throwing chains and pulling chains wears you out when you do it two days in a row on very little sleep. Just got these two cars in. This and here they drove out. They wanted to keep the wheels and tires, so we pulled those off. And that and there they had to haul out. Stuffed it full of oil filters. Got a little bit of rain, not too bad though, just for a little bit. We dodged most of it, so that's good. We need moisture, but right now we have plenty of moisture, so we don't need any more. I understand that rain's important, but too much rain is, don't need too much of a good thing, I guess is the way to say it. Got the road pretty well cleaned out. There's a few more cars I want to get shipped out, maybe tomorrow if I have time. I know there's a bunch of cars supposed to come in tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. But hopefully I can get a bunch of these out of here at least. And hopefully I can get this opened up. The one company that sets the trailers here, you guys have seen me load those in the past. They called me today and they're wanting to buy cars now too. So everybody's really wanting to buy cars. So I'm going to try to make room for them to put their trailers in here too. Because I really don't like having to haul the cars down there myself. And so I can just load these dumpsters. They can come get them. And then I can set trailers in here. And I can load cars in those too. And then if we get semis for Tennessee, I can load those too. And just whoever wants to haul the stuff they can have it. So that's all for today. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great day, great evening, whatever time of day it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keep checking back. You just never know what I'm going to post next. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.